Hello everyone. Uh, so the, as you all know that the gate exam is nearing by and this time it's IIT Madras which is organizing the institute. Uh, since I cracked gate, uh, I wanted to share few tips of mine like uh, what are the important topics from different chapters and what topics you must emphasize on and how to solve your problems in an effective way. So let's go to uh, the chapters. Uh, first we'll go with RDT. RDT is recombinant DNA technology which is a very important chapter and you'll have questions made based from restriction endonucleases and mRNA and you know RDT and molecular biology should be studied together so that's when your basics of RDT will be strong so first you start with molecular bio get your basics right about RNA DNA replication and everything and that's when you will be able to understand the vectors and how the cloning is done the ligation and everything so focus on molecular and RDT and you'll easily get around 10 to 15 marks if you are very good enough and you'll have even problems and you'll have mutations which are very important point mutations you know substitution deletion and chromosomes and this is this is like the very important part of the whole biotechnology so you must emphasize it a lot in the second topic which <laughs> which all the gate organizing institutes offer mainly focus on is bioprocess technology you know bioprocess technology is where you'll get heavy problems on you'll get problems on kinetics, fed batch kinetics, chemostat and continuous culture and and if you go to the problems you will also have few problems based on microbial growth too so it's kind of interlinked with microbiology too so you got to study the growth kinetics also so when you're strong in growth kinetics then your bioprocess becomes easy because you'll know the basic terms and coming to the growth kinetics you'll have problems based on generation time and you know uh, maximum specific growth rate and and if you are strong in these areas, you can easily solve bioprocess at the initial initial stage, after which you can focus on. And coming to the next important topic is immunology. Immunology is where you know the problems will be based on VDC, VDJ chain, and you know you'll have problems on types of cells, immune cells. You no, know, no. As you all know, we have 25 one mark questions, so. Uh, the gate examination paper set, uh, setter always makes sure that he, he always asks from the basic, like very basic criteria. And you know, if you are strong in uh, basic cells, macrophages, and you can easy, easily score at least 15 out of 15, 16 in, out of 25. If you are strong in all the basics of all subjects, bioprocess, microbial kinetics, and everything. And yeah, coming to the cell biology, which again is a very important topic topic if you all see if you see every topic is an important one but gate is an exam where only smart people can crack it so you need to strategize your way such in such a way that you you score marks in selective areas so for cell biology it's junctions cell junctions cell signaling and you know gpcr tyrosine kinases and membrane potential you'll be asked problems on membrane potential too so you should make sure that your you should have strong hold in this membrane potential topic so as far as now Better focus on these important topics, get your basics right, so that, you know, when you're in the exam, you'll understand what I'm saying, you know, you'll get, you'll score easily. And apart from the technical part, we can, we, you should also focus on the aptitude and English, which are like, very easy, like if you're, if you're very strong in those two areas, then you can easily get around 20 or 17 marks. And mathematics, yeah, they'll ask basic mathematics because they know that, uh, we biotechnologists are kind of poor in math so get your basics straight learn the basics focus on the important topics which i've just mentioned in few of the subjects i'll come up with the latest topics in next video of mine thank you have a nice day